Hello and welcome to GoTo Tech Reviews. Today we are going to take a quick look at the EVGA hybrid kit for the GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition card. The primary focus of this short video is to see how stock temperatures compare before and after and not on benchmarks. I mostly wanted to give users an idea of what to expect when they buy the hybrid kit from EVGA and what kind of cooling to expect. I wasn't originally planning on getting the Founders Edition card and going with water cooling, but due to how the step up program works at EVGA, it was the simplest way of getting the GTX 1080 Ti at the time. Also, I'd never used a Founders Edition card before, so I was intrigued. The Founders Edition card, as we already know, is a very attractive piece of hardware and is perfect for scenarios where a blower style cooler makes sense. But in my open style chassis, I have plenty of room for other cooling options such as water cooling. The hybrid kit from EVGA retails for about 160 US dollars, which is a bit steep considering it used to retail for 120 US dollars on previous Founders Edition hybrid kits, but still has all the same elements. EVGA explains that this was a smaller run order, so the MSRP had to be adjusted. Kind of a bummer, but I understand being in tech myself. Before we get into the build, I wanted to get an idea of what temperatures we would hit at stock settings in a GPU stress test such as Unigen Heaven. I ran it for a solid 10 minutes to let the GPU temperatures settle. After the build, we will retest and see what kind of delta we got. Let's go ahead and watch the assembly process, and then go ahead and see what temperatures we got before and after. The results here really aren't that surprising given that we went from one of the hottest cooling solutions to one of the coolest. I understand this test wasn't fully comprehensive, but the delta here of 26 degrees Celsius is rather impressive. I've been using the hybrid kit now for about two months and I can honestly say I've never seen it reach much higher than 63 degrees Celsius or so, even while overclocked. Speaking of overclocking, it still comes down to the silicon lottery, regardless of the additional cooling headroom you have. Honestly, in my case, it only allowed it to go up by a single clocking step than being on the Founders Edition cooler. So who is this hybrid kit for if the overclocking gains are minimal, especially for 160 US dollars? Well, it's for someone who wants their GPU to run as cool and quiet as possible without having to go with a full custom loop. Granted, the process was far more tedious than I had expected, but overall I found it to be rewarding. It looks good and performs well, and while the extra $40 over the other kit is bothersome, it's not a deal breaker and I would still highly recommend this kit for anyone wanting to do water cooling on their GPU. Thanks for watching and as always, we'll see you in the next video.